Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to GrowMed. In this video, we will discuss the important one-liners which were asked in the past years. These are the repeat questions as well as uh, important ones. So chances are there that these will be uh, asked in the future exams also. And uh, this will be like a quick uh, session in which we'll discuss a lot of things. So you can watch this in your tea breaks and um, study break sessions. And this will be some... Uh, 8 to 10 minutes video and we'll discuss all the important things okay so already the videos have been uploaded for the anatomy biochemistry and uh, other subjects so you can watch those also so the first question orphan drugs are used to treat what which kind of diseases so they are used to treat the rare diseases and this was a simple one liner question asked in the past years so questions have been frequently asked to the orphan drugs then next question thiazides are the drug of choice for there are two conditions hypertension and diabetes insipidus for both of these conditions hypertension uh, thiazides are the drug of choice diuretics are must to do topic and they can even give a clinical case that a case describing that an elderly male some 65 years and he uh, has hypertension now which of the following drug is prescribing so the drug of choice is the thiazide so hypertension okay then moving on to the next the antidote for the benzodiazepine again a repeat topic asked multiple times so the answer for this one is if you have solved the mpy case and all you might be already having it in your mind flu ma se nil okay so this is the what other drug of choice for the benzodiazepines then antidote for the iron toxicity again a repeat topic and this has been asked like pattern of the question uh was is being changed every year so they can describe a case that a child was there and a female child or a male child and he had consumed the iron tablets of the mother and now the mother brings the uh, uh, child to the emergency with so and so complaint so what will be the next step of management so if you break it down and if you understand the question no in simple terms they are asking the uh, antidote for the iron toxicity in the simple terms but if they want to elongate and uh, make it a lengthy question then they can give these kind of things so case so you need to uh, develop this ability of skill uh, the solving the mcqs as well because you need to uh, understand what is being asked and make it in simpler uh, words and then write it down okay so antidote for the iron toxicity it is the desferoxamine then drug of choice for the CM retinitis again a repeat topic asked multiple times so it is the Gansi Ciclovir and this question you know like uh, this also has been asked multiple times in ophthalmology also in relation to ophthalmology also and the positive organism the CMV toxoplasmosis okay this one also then uh, mechanism of action of bidaquiline so bidaquiline is an anti-tb drug you should know this one first anti-tb drug and this is also a favorite question of the examiners like the um, what um, favorite topic of the examiners questions are asked on the side effects then uh, the mechanism of action they uses so sometimes the question can be asked like uh, bidaquiline belongs to which class of drug or which category so it is the anti-tubercular drug so the mechanism of action is the atp synthesis inhibitor then the next question glycopyrrolate is given before anesthesia because it will reduce the secretions okay so this guy uh, glycopyrrolate is a drug which belongs to the class anticholinergic drug so uh, anticholinergic drug cholinergic system usually increases the secretions right to block that we will be using this glycopyrrolate so mechanism of action can also be asked so it is what mm, anticholinergic drug then the next question dopamine at very low doses causes which of the following so it decreases the renal blood flow then drug of choice for the drug of choice to close the pda patent ductus arteriosus so it is the indomethacin so this indomethacin belongs to the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs category and for to close this PDA, you know, we usually need the prostaglandins uh, to be um, uh, what blockers, prostaglandin blockers because the prostaglandin shouldn't act on it. Okay, so that's why to close this PDA, we will be using this indomethacin. Likewise, for the, to keep it open, to keep it open, we will be using the prostaglandins analog and this can also be asked then drug of choice for the scrub typhus so the antibiotic used for this one is the doxy c y c l i n 
doxycycline then mechanism of action of tetracycline so it inhibits the protein synthesis so protein synthesis inhibitor then drug of choice for chemotherapy induced diarrhea so this is also a repeat topic asked multiple times so they can describe a case that a female patient or a male patient is on some chemotherapy and suddenly they develop diarrhea or vomiting or uh, something else okay so um, yeah uh, chemotherapy induced diarrhea chemotherapy induced uh, nausea and vomiting so what kind of drugs you will be using so for chemotherapy induced diarrhea it is lopiramide then the next question so myasthenia gravis again a repeat topic asked multiple times so you can expect a question of myasthenia gravis in the upcoming exam also the question can be either on the drugs used or the investigation of choice or a clinical case then drugs used for the diagnosis of the myasthenia gravis is the adrophonium so for di confirmation or like to diagnose it because adrophonium the symptoms will improve on giving adrophonium okay and for the treatment neostigmine and paridostigmine so that also uh, the question depends on the question asked then mechanism of action of the altiplase so altiplase is a drug uh, thrombolytic it increases the level of the plasmid level of the plasmid and shows its action then the mechanism of action of doxycycline again a repeat topic so uh, doxycycline antibiotic it inhibits the protein synthesis protein okay then drug for digoxin induced ventricular extracystodes drugs used for uh, digoxin induced in, uh, ventricular extracystodes is the lignocaine lignocaine is the drug used okay then uh, um antibiotic avoided in case of chronic otitis media is ampicillin because ampicillin is already ototoxic and uh, in case of this uh, media uh, otitis media then we can't give it so because it is ototoxic then lithium is contraindicated in pregnancy because it causes epstein anomaly so the congenital defect caused by it epstein anomaly the question can be uh, described in a way like pattern of the question can change case they can describe that what um lithium a female patient is having mood disease bipolar disorder and is on the lithium therapy which of the following uh, congenital abnormality can be seen in the neonate so epstein anomaly okay then a new drug is introduced in the market after which phase of clinical trials so phase 3 of the clinical trials clinical trials again a repeat topic important one antidote for the heparin toxicity so it is the protamine sulfate so do have a look at all the antibiotics uh, antibiotics toxicities antidote for the toxicities protamine sulfate is for this one like for pct and acetylcysteine like for iron we have already discussed above now for heparin like because there are a lot of drugs uh, benzodiazepines we all also discussed so this is an important one and the list is already provided in the videos okay uh, and these things you can also find on my telegram channel fluoroquinolones which are least useful in case of urinary tract infection it is the moxy floxin because uh, this moxifloxin uh, in urine it doesn't attain its peak level so when it doesn't attain its peak level then it will not show its action so that's why it is not useful and avoided and the most um, effective can be fluoroquinolone uh, this levofloxacin most effective will be this levofloxacin and that is only the most commonly used then moving on to the next question so drug of choice for the mountain sickness again an important one and the repeat topic acetozolamide the most potent opioid is so fentanyl is the most potent opioid simple one liner was asked in the past years but now they can also change the question so you need to be ready that uh, if a clinical case is also asked then you need to rule out the things asked in the air question connect the options and reach the diagnosis then next 100 percent bioavailability is achieved by which route so it's quite simple one-liner uh, iv route because it will be bypassing the first pass metabolism then drug of choice for malaria in case of pregnancy malaria again a repeat topic noted down like all the points related to the malaria the causative organisms then the uh, smear uh, which kind of uh, parasite is seen and what 
the drugs in pregnancy which for the prophylaxis which we'll be using and it also depends on the state so have a look at all the points related to this malaria then the drug of choice in case of pregnancy is the chloroquine as it is a safer alternative quinine is a teratogenic then the most common precipitating factor of the digoxin toxicity it is the hypokalemia so yes these were some important one-liners and i think uh, i hope this video will help you you have come to know a lot of points i think by this one and do watch this video share it with your friends and watch this video at least two times so that you will not be missing any important thing and sometimes it happens you know like we are um bored of studying so at that time you can open these videos have a look at it it will be recalling like you will be having a um, active um, involvement or active participant of uh, two or three um, uh, senses like you'll be seeing the video you'll be watching the video it will be going into your mind and you'll be visualizing the things also okay so it will uh, create a very good memory so i uh, suggest you to watch these videos in your free time and uh, recall them okay thank you so much for watching this video um share the video like it and subscribe to chromed if you're new to chromed for the pdf you can join my telegram channel this is dr padmini your mentor for the fmg thank you so much guys once again bye bye and all the best